Good evening. Former Crows captain Mark Rashido has been spoken to by police over a drive-by shooting on a North Adelaide house last week. The victim's a property developer once sued by Mark Rashido after the sale of a house fell through. Last Monday morning, a volley of four shots was aimed at the Children's Street home in Blue Ribbon, North Adelaide. Two children and four adults, including Nada Farsi Gundur, were inside. Police don't know who's behind the shooting and the motives unknown. Earlier this year, Mr Gandor was sued by Mark Rusciuto after pulling out of a deal to buy the Rusciuto's home at St George's. Can we speak to you about the drive-by shooting last week? Rusciuto claimed a subsequent sale netted only $1.8 million, half a million less than the original deal. There was an out-of-court settlement, but it's understood Rusciuto hasn't received the full amount yet. Veteran restaurateur Sammy Clementu, who runs Cafe Mykonos and Sammy's on the Marina, owned the house next door. He had a similar failed property deal with Mr Gandor. It's believed he lost out on about $200,000. Police have said they're investigating whether the shooting could be linked to a failed property deal. Police are also investigating whether there are any links to organised crime and the possibility that the drive-by shooting was carried out by bikies or members of a street gang. There is no suggestion that Mark Rusciuto or Sammy Clementu were involved in the shooting. Both told Seven News they'd spoken to police but said they weren't the only ones embroiled in property disputes with Mr Gandor. Michelle Vella, Seven News. It's emerged that the desalination plant passed a major safety audit less than 24 hours before a fatal accident there on Friday. Today, workers walked off the job. They may not return until next week. Usually buzzing with man and machine, construction on the desal plant has ground to a halt. On Friday, a 35-year-old rigger was crushed to death by a steel beam that slipped from its sling. Today, his workmates walked off the job. Out of respect for the, uh, for the family. It's been revealed a federally commissioned safety audit gave the site the all-clear just a day before the accident. The workers uh, work in there one day and someone dies next to them and no one wants to go back. This former worker claims he raised a series of safety issues in April but was sacked by construction company Adelaide Aqua. They told that the job's got to go ahead and get done and this is why they um, bypass safe work. The company tells a vastly different story both on and off the record and insists its priority is always the safety and well-being of workers. Workers here at the plant have been so shaken, so affected by Friday's tragedy they're donating all of today's wages to a fund that's been set up for the victim's family. Tools will be downed again tomorrow while another safety audit is carried out. Workers will instead rally in the city, supporting another local construction worker, Ark Tribe, who's facing jail under a controversial industrial law. Mark Mooney, 7 News.